Hi, someone James McLaughlin and from Palmerade. I just wanted to very quickly talk about Pulse. Pulse is my favourite RSS news reader for the iPad. It's also what I would class the most beautiful application that you can get uh, for iOS devices, iPads, etc. Um, I naturally refer and check so many websites. So I don't have time in all fairness, especially in the mornings and the evenings, to go through every single website and check out what's going on, what's hot in the news. So what I tend to use is Pulse, and I love Pulse. Pulse really is the most beautiful graphically um, designed app. It pulls all your RSS feeds into this fantastic app and presents them in a gorgeous display. For example, up here at the top you can see is Palmarade, Made in Brazil, which is a fantastic fashion lifestyle magazine uh, from uh, New York, and then you have Life Hacker. Uh, they're just three of the RSS feeds that I naturally have on my iPad. Um, these, this web, this um, app is probably one of my mostly used apps. It's something that I refer to first thing in the morning. It's something I refer to first thing at night. I like to see what's going on, what's hot, as I say, in the world of internet, lifestyle, fashion, etc. So Pulse really does bring it all together. And Pulse is also available not just for the iPad, but also for the iPhone and also for iPod Touches. So it really is right across the iOS spectrum. Um, I would say, um, I can't remember how much Pulse is, but I do remember thinking, wow, that's pretty cheap for what it offers. And I would naturally be happy to pay more money for Pulse than what they offer. But um, Steve, I, I first realized, I first learned about Pulse through a keynote uh, that Steve Jobs did for Apple. And um, I thought, I think it was from the iPad keynote launch. And I remember seeing, wow, that's such a fantastic app. I want that um, on my iPad. And I downloaded it and I've never been sorry. So... Pulse for iPad is absolutely awesome. If you wanna if you wanna integrate all your RSS or creative feeds into your iPad, then you need to download Pulse. If you're like me and time is of the essence and you don't have time to go through so many websites and you just want to check those most important news feeds, then again Pulse is just especially for you. The way you present your news feeds, at the end of the day, it's down to the webmaster how they present their um posts. But Pulse really does bring them all together and it's beautiful and it makes surfing websites both graphically eye-pleasing and also uh you know you save so much time so pulse available from the app store for ios devices such as the iphone the ipod touch and the ipad naturally go down uh go to it download it onto your ipad or whatever device you're using and i'm sure that you will not be sorry because i certainly will um not to also can we just put um touch upon the beatles finally appearing making their way to the itunes store absolutely fantastic naturally i'm an 80s child so i wasn't born uh, in the Beatles era, but that being said, the Beatles did produce some fantastic tunes and um, awesome music. I have some of them on my iPhone playlist, um, so really great to see them making it to iTunes after long last, the Beatles that are making it to iTunes today. So, you know, great that Steve Jobs has managed to secure their music into iTunes, and if you've never heard of the Beatles, especially the younger generation, um, just go and either ask your parents or just go and download some of the music because don't forget, I think they were the original boy band so and they did produce some fantastic and awesome music. So that's the Beatles finally appearing in iTunes. Really chuffed about that today. Um, I'm still waiting for the iOS update, guys, for the iPad. You know, Apple needs to hurry up with this. I'm really, really, really looking forward to multitasking. I have a jailbroken iPhone, iPad, so at the end of the day, my iPad can multitask in the sense of uh, thanks to jailbreaking. But I want to see a native multitask, uh, multitask solution for the iPad that really doesn't drain my battery. So I'm looking forward to Apple eventually producing something and uh, spitting out an update for the iOS for the iPad. So that's something I'm looking forward to. That was, wasn't that rumoured to be coming out Friday, but then they pulled it because there was some Wi-Fi issues, I believe, as well um, with the iOS update. So they're still kind of testing it, or it has gone gold now, so I'm not too sure. But naturally, I'm hoping that that comes out very, really, really soon. So um, just some thoughts for this quick PATV, but as I say, if you haven't checked out Pulse, go and check it out because it's absolutely awesome. Notice that I've turned the lights down so that you can really see what Pulse is all about on my iPad. So I hope that uh, helps you out a little bit. So go and check out Pulse. It's available from, from, available from the App Store for all of your iOS devices such as iPod Touch, iPhone, and the iPad. Anyway, Simon James McLaughlin, hoping that you're having a fantastic Tuesday and I'll be back with you with the PATV very, very soon. Until then, take care and ciao.